Hi, I'm Tim Hanstead. I'm a Landessa co-founder and now senior advisor. And it's a real privilege to be here in India and to be participating in this important conference on India land and development. I shared my story a bit today about how my story, personal story and family story connects with land. And as an example of how important it is, how important land can be in changing the trajectory of people's history, of family histories, and of even countries' history. I also talked about the importance of land in India and talked briefly about eight related topics that I think need urgent priority uh, in India's development moving forward. So I'll just list those eight topics. The first one is providing land to the landless. India has the largest number of landless people on the planet and landlessness is the best predictor of poverty. The second issue is about regularizing informal occupation of land in both rural and urban areas. Tens of millions of, of Indians occupy land for which they don't hold legal rights and it's imperative that India go about regularizing those poor long-term occupants. Third is about improving land records. India's land records are in generally a poor state uh, and need to be improved. And there are a variety of measures undertaken now to improve those. We need to learn from those, grab the best practices, and, and, and implement them further. Fourth is the issue of reducing farmland leasing restrictions. Farmland leasing will be a very important tool for broadening access for the poor, but also for improving agricultural efficiency and occupational mo mobility outside of agriculture. Niti Ayog has developed a model act that's a great guideline for this. A few states have, have adopted it, more need to. Fifth is simplifying and harmonizing state level land related laws. Many of the laws are overly cumbersome, irrelevant, outdated, sometimes inconsistent. We need to take steps to make law simpler and more clear. Six is the issue of increasing land related legal awareness and services. Uh, women in particular, but poor people generally, often we find have a low level of awareness about laws and their rights under law, and that needs to be improved so they can assert them. Uh, seventh is closing land data gaps. We have two important land data gaps across the world and in India, one having to do with evidence data gaps. We need to, more researchers involved in the process of identifying what interventions are working, what is not working. Uh, the second data gap has to do with foundational data. We don't even have a good idea of how many people have land rights and what are the nature of those land rights. The government needs to be more systematically collect that data and we need to take advantage of non-governmental efforts such as Prindex, a very important uh, initiative capturing that data in India. And then last but certainly not least, eight, strengthening women's land rights. Women. Uh, fare the worst in this field. Uh, we have a very large percentage of women involved in land-based livelihoods. Very few women actually hold rights to land. Most access land through uh, relationships with men in their lives. That needs to be changed. Patriarchy here is, is a problem. It is uh, retarding progress both economically and socially for India. We need to strengthen women's land rights. So I'm excited about this group of people who've come together to focus on these issues and look forward to learning a lot more over the next few days. Thank you.